Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and you're probably reading the title of this video or article and you're like, huh? What the heck is going on? Yeah, unfortunately guys, Shamrock is no more. So we're gonna talk about that and more before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. Now, as you know, we've been reporting about the Shamrock on and off for the past year and a half. Now, I don't wanna get into too many details, but during the pandemic, there were some violations and the state came in and shut them down and shut them down again. And now they're kind of left closed until Labor Day weekend. That was the new agreement from Memorial Day to Labor Day weekend, they could not open. Well, in during that time, a couple things happened and now it's being sold. Now, because it's being sold, technically speaking, there's tenants in the building, so they can't really do anything with the building or anything until after November, which is why originally I put my article online stating that they were opening up in October because that's what the website said. Well, it turns out as of this past Friday, that's no longer the case. According to the owner, it's being completely sold. And according to the owner, the Shamrock, the club next to it and Castaways is no more. BG Capital supposedly bought this land. They're gonna be ripping down everything down here and they're going to be building a parking lot. And the reason for that is because, you know, BG owns all of this and they're ripping this down doing the student housing and the bar and blah, blah, blah. BG, if you look down the street, also owns over there the wood and the, the DFW and they also own a couple other things, but they're gonna need places to park their cars and so, Supposedly, if everything goes through, this will be ripped down to become a parking lot. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, well, what's happening up here? This is actually a historical house. The bar itself opened in 1937, I want to say somewhere in the 30s. And the house upstairs is actually a Victorian house from the late 1800s. Well, if things do go right, this part down here will be completely ripped out. But this house will actually get moved down the street and wind up back here in this lot behind Romeo's. So that'd be really cool. So if that does happen, please stay tuned because I'll be glad to film all that for you guys. But it's just, it's, it's really sad. Now, I do have an exclusive for you guys. We're gonna go inside and give you a final tour of the property. I know a lot of you guys didn't get a chance to say goodbye. And so with this video, this is my way of giving you guys some kind of closure. So let's go inside. All right, guys, we're heading inside for the last tour. Now it looks really bad right now, but what they're doing is they're trying to save the Victorian house upstairs. So they're ripping down all this stuff to look at the studs and see what they can do architecturally wise. But. I know it's a really long shot, but I'm trying to capture everything. great memories here. Remember this bar is from the 1930s. The Victorian house is actually from the late 1800s. Now I do believe they're gonna have some kind of sale to sell off some of this stuff because there's a lot here and they are moving the house. So don't worry the house is staying not here but they're gonna try to move it down the street which is gonna be really cool to look at but how many memories you guys have here right? For me it's singing on Thursday nights on that stage on the other side. I'm not gonna go in the bathroom, but you guys know what that looks like. But let's shoot down the bar. Yeah, this whole thing is gonna get ripped out. Probably not until October. Because I think that's when they try to move the house is October. Because you can't turn in those chips anymore, guys, the shamrock chips, <laughs> to get a shot. You can see all the tabs. Uh, this is behind the bar, guys. Looking down. If you're ever wondering what it looked like back here. Everything's already emptied out. It's hard to see, but...
Here's all the tabs. I'm assuming they're gonna sell them too. I know the lighting isn't perfect, but I'm trying to get some good shots. This is the back area too, in case you haven't seen that. Let's see, it's receiving. taking the plates off once again so that they can go ahead and look up here so when they move the house because you're only going to move the house from the main beams going this way and then move this I don't think they're going to put a garage or something else on it but man a lot of bands on this stage this is before Thursday nights I would sing here and then of course got the merch back here let's see if I turn the light on real quick I'm assuming they're going to sell with the shirts too, but. But here's the throne. Who wants this in their house? <laughs> no, I can actually imagine Billy Jack <laughs> taking this one to sit upstairs on. Here's some boots. And this is one of the hallways down here. Now, as you know, if you turn left, we have the other bar and this actually connects it all. So if you go this way, here's Insomnia. Obviously this is a whole nother section, um, not as historically, not as historically significant as the Shamrock, but and you've got some stuff in here from Castaways. It's a little messy because they've been working, they've been renovating actually. Because you remember they were supposed to open up in October. Now they added in all these doors extra to meet all of those COVID restrictions when it comes to like 30% of it has to be like an entrance out or something like that. But here's the back to Castaways, there's the ship. Bathrooms are back there, we don't have to go back there. And here's the DJ booth. And this is all just storage stuff. So, clean room. Here's the DJ booth. The bathrooms are back here. And this is just a very long, dark hallway. <laughs> This is the kitchen. Where is the light in here? I think this is it here. Yep. Here's the kitchen. The prep area, cleaning dishes.
So we're finishing up the tour nail, guys. I know, it's really sad, but I'm happy that we're able to come in here and at least document it while it's still one piece, especially before they start selling stuff off. So wave goodbye, guys. And while I'm outside, I'll do a tour of the outside building for you guys, just so you have it. Established in 1937. We're drinking and socializing by Cronus Ward County, Dongo, Ireland. outside in Samia, Castaways. And of course, we're coming up to the famous boat. I love this thing. This is a real boat one time, by the way. They just, of course, added all this in here, but So there you guys go. The end of an era right there. Let me tell you that right now. It's end of an era. And let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite memories? For me, once again, going through the video, it's Thursday nights in the off season, singing on the stage. That was always fun for me, uh, especially when I had the band on there. But I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And a special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com that allow me to spend a random Monday <laughs> doing videos like this. You too can support this channel. Get your name at the end of the video and a couple other stuff. I'll put the link in the description below. And thank you for joining me. I'm Joey, as always. I'll see you on the beach, which is right down there, right down there. I'll see you later. Bye.